Good morning, you beautiful people, and welcome to Origins 101. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to build and upgrade the Fire Staff. As a prerequisite for all of the staffs, including the Fire Staff, you are going to need to use the Gramophone and the Black Disc. If you don't know how to do that, there is a video on my channel for you. The three different pieces of the Fire Staff are going to be given to you after doing three different things throughout the map. The first fire staff piece can be obtained by killing the panzer, the first one that spawns on round 8. Another piece of the fire staff is going to be obtained by turning on generator 6 if you go to that reward chest immediately after turning on gen 6 right there. And the last piece is a little bit complicated. After you open this door right here, the next round, there will be a plane in the air that is glowing you have to use a bullet weapon and shoot down that plane. Once the plane is shot down, the piece of the fire staff that you're looking for is going to fall onto this part of the map right here. That's 100% of the time it's always going to be there. And those are your three pieces. Once you have those three pieces, you now need the orange disc. The orange disc is going to be around generator 6 and the church. The first location is going to be right here to the right of the tank to the left of this pillar on the ground right here. The second location is going to be on the top story of the church and it's going to be sitting in the pews right here. And the third location for the disc is going to be on top of these boxes next to Gen 6 right there. Once you have that orange disc, go all the way back to the spawn area to the trenches where the fire tunnel is. Go all the way down in the fire tunnel, set down the gramophone, and you can now go into the crazy place. Once inside the crazy place, the red or orange pedestal will open up a little bit and you can take out the fire gem. It's important to note you can only hold one gem at a time. Once you have the gem, you can go back to the overworld and go to the mound to the bottom area and you can build the fire staff. The basic fire staff shoots out a flame in three different directions and will melt zombies, but we can upgrade this. In order to upgrade this, go all the way back to the fire tunnel, back to the crazy place, and you are going to need to collect zombie souls while standing on these grates right here. When you're in this section, the red fire section of the crazy place, you need to stand on these grates and you're going to notice that there are four different little colanders that you're going to need to fill up with zombie souls. They will light up once they are fully filled. Once you light all four of them, that crazy place puzzle is done. You're going to want to head back to the overworld and go to the top section of the church to solve a puzzle. Once at the top section of the church right here, you will notice that symbols are going to be burnt into the walls and four of them are going to be lit up. These four symbols correlate to different numbers. The numbers stay the same and the key is going to be on the screen for you right here. And like every other key, you can find them on the internet, on Reddit, in the description below. I got this from the cronorium.com. You're going to want to use this key and look at the four symbols that are lit up. It's important to note that the far right symbol is always going to be lit up. It's a little bit of an oddity, but it's very simple. It's just always going to be lit up. Once you've written down what numbers correlate to which symbols, head to the bottom section of the church and you're going to notice on the wall there are torches with numbers. You're going to want to shoot the torches that have the number that correlates with your symbol. Now, as far as that far right symbol that is always lit up is concerned, you're going to want to shoot this middle torch right here that has the blood stain on it. That is a torch that you will always shoot. Also important to note, you need to do this in a quick succession. It doesn't need to be in order from left to right. It just needs to be the correct four torches in a decently quick pace. Once you've done that, you should hear an activation noise and you are good to go. You want to head back to the mound, back to that middle area and you're going to look at those 115 rings and as you see in the gameplay behind you you're going to want to flip the switches around the mound to get all of those stones lit up as red. Once you've turned all of the rings so that all of them show red you're going to want to jump down shoot this red stone right here and you're going to make your way all the way back to the crazy place. Once you're back to the crazy place you will look and see that red pedestal has now risen you can put in your fire staff and you need to collect 20 to 30 souls. Once you've done that your fire staff should be upgraded. If you charge the fire staff you will now have three separate bursts. If you shoot these three separate bursts on the ground and zombies walk over them, they will die. 
The fire staff is notoriously one of the more easier staffs to build, and it is also really good at taking out panzers. But zombies, not so much. But anyway, hopefully this guide has helped you out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support. And until the next absolutely beautiful Zombies Morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.